So we retreated to a bit of snow here in the Hudson Valley, and we took a ride into the village of Rhinebeck, about a half hour from where we live. We made a direct line for Pizzeria Posto, a hidden gem in the village of Rhinebeck, although not so hidden now, since Dave Portnoy gave it a very high rating for their pizza. Pat and Olga Amadeo, the owners, are truly the most consummate of hosts. They make an absolutely delicious wood-fired pizza they have antipasto and amazing salads, beer, Italian wines. It's all you need for the perfect lunch or dinner. Pat is a Poughkeepsie native, has owned restaurants before, and is truly passionate about his craft. You taste the char, the freshest ingredients, the little bit of wood smoke. It's just fantastic. When we got to Posto, we ordered our drinks. Martina and I both enjoyed two unsweetened black teas from Harney and Sons. Jack had a local beer. Erin had wine. We ordered a salad with local Hudson Valley apples and arugula. We had an antipasto board with soppressada, olives, and cheese, and two delicious pizzas. You can't go wrong with anything on their menu. New York is the place to be for pizza. This is an authentic Neapolitan style pizza, wood-fired oven, not gas, but real wood-fired. They're individual pizzas, about 12 inches, perfect to share, or not, depending upon how hungry you are. It's not by the slice, it's by the whole pie. An antipasto, a salad, and two pizza were perfect for the t four of us. The two pizzas that we enjoyed, the Mamma Mia, which is smoked mozzarella, wood-roasted onions, and fennel sausage. There's no tomato sauce on this pizza. The other pizza we had, which was also sauce-free, is the Ponte Vecchio. It is fresh rigotta, fresh mozzarella, grated grana padano, guanciale, and baby spinach. We enjoyed walking through the village of Rhinebeck, checking out the small shops, doing Christmas shopping, and supporting local businesses. When in Rhinebeck, visit the Beekman Arms. It was built in 1766, and it's an absolutely beautiful restaurant and place to stay overnight. The Beekman Arms, the oldest inn in America. There's also Foster's Coach House, another wonderful eating establishment that has a deep, deep history in the Hudson Valley. My recommendation is, at Foster's, the London Broil Sandwich. I've watched the seasons change here at the cabin. Fall came. The leaves fell, and quickly snow blanketed the lawn. The smell of wood smoke is in the air. The seasons change. They don't wait for us. Our chickens in their coop aren't enjoying this cold, I don't think. They're reluctant to come out when the winds are blowing. But we spoil them with fresh food from our kitchen. Today they enjoyed a dish of pasta 
and sauteed broccoli from the garden. And now, as we wrap up our visit in Rhinebeck, as truly an Italian-American would, we're planning dinner. <laughs>